What's up, everybody? We're going to call this the Buddy Build. Not because of the particular way it's wrapped. Because I'm going to wrap it for my buddy. His build. I got that right. Good right, idea. Yeah. Like that. Got it in shorts. Really shorts. Yeah. Got it shorts and it comes up different every time. Shorts. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna try and fix all that. So pull out the old cotton. Oh, I see a problem already, buddy boy. One screw wasn't even tight. You ain't messing around when you wrap your coil, are you? All right, and you crank this down so far. I'm trying to be a little quiet, the wife's still napping. I'll show everybody. Including me. You crank your positive down so far that it's touching the other side. We can probably fix that. Wipe this down a little bit. Just easier to use the old shirt. The old shirt method works the best. Let's see here. Yeah, that is not a happy camper. What are you doing, buddy? You're cranking her down way too far. Sorry, I'm going to do this off camera. I can do it on camera. Tighten that post down just a little bit. Where's the air hole? Right there. It's full of juice. Mm. Juicy. I don't really need my head in the shot, do I? Let's we'll see if we get part of it. Now, for those that don't know, this particular K fun has no adjustment on the airflow. However, there's a hole that runs through the center pin. That's how the air goes up, goes in the side, and goes up. If you have that turned away from it, you're not going to get a lot of airflow through it. That's a little better. Ooh, drop it. Like it's hot. It's not hot. All right. And we move that away. Uh, try to get an angle that you can see. We move that away. So we shouldn't have any more shorts. All right? All right. Just loosen the screws up a little bit. What's the load on here? Ohm meter shouldn't say anything. And it is. Look. What did you do, buddy? Hmm? What did you do to this? Jumping around. It shouldn't say anything right now. There's no wires on it. Nothing. Which pretty much means I gotta take the whole thing apart. Well, that's not quite the video I was looking to make. <sighs> buddy boy, what'd you do, buddy boy? Okay. Yeah, these come apart. 
screw it really long. Not really long, but it seemed long. Now, I believe it just pushes out, right? Does it thread out? Man, I don't remember. Oh, it's such a tight screw. Some of us like a tight screw. Just saying. She is tired. Well, we'll get a look at it. Looks like there's some junk up in there. Here's the center screw. See the side hole? And then the airflow goes up through the center. Now, I guess we're gonna clean all this junk out. It's in the bottom. Runner under a little tap water. What do you say? This is the upper piece. Got the screw on it. Little Delrin insulator on the bottom. Get rid of some of that light. Okay. Seems to be some cotton stuck underneath there. Hmm. Let's see these parts off. What did you do, buddy? Let's put all our parts back down here. Grab another nap. What could you have possibly done to make that jump around, jump around? Ain't nothing in there. Sure you didn't have in mind me doing a video of this. But I'm going to do it anyhow. Whether you like it or not. I got re wick mine yet. Somebody burned my wick. So I gotta re wick it now. That's not bad. Two pieces done. Get most of that out of there. What can we do with that? I don't know a lot we can do with that. Let's see if we can run a paper towel through there. I doubt it. That one's kind of uh, tight in there, and I don't want to pull it out for fear of not getting it back in there. Ooh, got a dirt. We'll just twist it to make sure nothing comes out that we can see. Twist it through there. The only place I can't get it is where the air hole is. Hey, we ripped it. Yeah, sorry. I'm a little quiet. Turn your volume all the way up. Not seeing anything. Not seeing anything here. 
Let's toss her back together. Start by throwing the pin. Right back up through there. She's stiff, man. Believe, I believe, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Let's see here. Let's well, screw the Del Ren in first. That's all I was doing was putting a piece of plastic down on there. Del Ren plastic, whatever it is. Should we check it? Should say one. Shouldn't say anything. Should just say one. Fuck, he said one. We're good so far. Turn back off. We gotta pull it out. Turn the screws on. It's 11 minutes already. I thought I'd have this built already. Can't build it with a jump around with no coil in it. What's up with that? Screwing down the center piece, hopefully. Doesn't feel like it's moving yet. Because it's not. There we go. Now, now we gotta make sure that it stays straight. And use the other half of the block and nice flat pliers. Make sure we got airflow. Got airflow. Doesn't look like it's touching. Put it back on and hopefully it's not jumping. Is it jumping? Look at that. Fixed. Now, back to building. The buddy build. Why is it called the buddy build? Because I'm going to build it for my buddy. So his jump around, it was at, uh, when I checked it earlier, it was like 1.8. And that's before I noticed it was jumping around. 28 gauge. Of course we're going to do a parallel coil. He didn't say what he wanted in here. What did I do want? I think I have a couple made up. I'm going to make this just for you, buddy. You just fold the wire over, like shoe. I like to make sure my leads are away from each other. So that when I pinch the wire down, you just pinch the wire down. Make sure it's not crossing, and it is. All right, we can fix that. We'll work it out a little bit. Sometimes the wires are just so small. You can't tell. And what I wrap on is like a. Uh, I'm just pulling them straight. I thought. I'm just pulling them a little straighter. Makes it a little easier. My regular. 
screwdriver at uh, about two mil. Sorry, but I'm doing this so I can see it. We're just wrapping it up. Too much glare for you. Sorry. Wrap three right there. Four. Five. Before I go that extra mile right there, use the old cheat method. We're gonna grab these and we're gonna pull them tight. And of course, it's gonna wanna bounce out. I'm gonna grab the other side and we're gonna pull it tight. And that gets all your ducks in a row. They're close together. Not micro coil close yet. I'm gonna grab both sides and just give her a bit of wiggle and a tug. Maybe try to pinch down just a little bit. What you basically have is that right there in that bridge. Yeah. I've noticed by doing this, twisting the ends, it is. 5,000 times easier trap your wires in a cave on 5,000 times that's a lot nobody ever tells you something's 5,000 times better Get the gist of what I'm doing, but I don't have an uppy closey camera. I got no way to hang that over my head so you can see. Tape it to a baseball hat. Is that what the world's come to now? But that's all right. Let's do it. The way other people have done it in the past. This is harder to do. I am all. You're not texting anybody. Why do you say I am all? You say in my opinion. All right. Even though I did this backwards, we're gonna try to trap the wires. Opposite way that you're supposed to do this. Can't believe I built it backwards. How did I end up wrapping it backwards? And the screwdriver, of course, that I like to use to do this, this is the screwdriver I'm using right now. Just getting the wire 
in position. Like I said, this is harder to do on the K fun than anything else I got. Once one side's done though, it's slightly easier to do the other side. Slightly. And we need our needle nose again. Because only the needle nose knows. But the needle nose knows. You don't have enough hands for everything that's going on in here. The buddy coil. Nothing particularly special. It's just a parallel coil. What I'm wrapping it for my buddy. Alright, alright, let's see. I wanted to put tug up on this. Oh. I don't want to come loose. Trapping two wires on each of these posts is very difficult, which is why I twist them. See that? Hard to see. Right. Pull the screwdriver out for a second so I can get at these wires. My uh, fingernail clipper is so dull. Time to go spend 99 cents, I guess, huh? I don't like to twist them off. On the K form because you have that uh, just barely any room, so you might end up pulling the wire right out of that, and that's not fun. Once it's broke down so far. Yeah, I need a new one. Can you sharpen fingernail clippers? I don't know if it's possible. I've never heard of anybody doing it. I bet you somebody's done it, though. Somebody's trying to save a buck. Sharpen some fingernail clippers. How's that, buddy? 0.67. Does it bounce? Doesn't bounce. Look at that. 0.67. But we're not done. Are we done? No, we're not done. Now, take a vape here off my pro tank. Yeah, that's a pro tank. Pro tank with an 18350 battery. Nice, huh? Well, what'd you do to your pro tank? What did you do to your pro tank? What can't you do to a pro tank? This is what I did to a pro tank. It's a little side note here. 0.83. That's what I did to a pro tank. So, now we're just going to do the standard let's light it up. And squeeze it. So I'm putting it on this mod right here. Light her up and squeeze her. Get her to light up first. My 18350 may not like this. That's not bad though, huh? 
Couldn't hear you. I need sizzling. You know what I forgot to do, though? Lift the coil up the deck. And I just like to take my regular screwdriver that I used to build it with and slide it underneath there. Hopefully the wires stay. What's the point if the wires don't stay? We'll have to check it again. After we fiddle. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Get your panties in a bunch. We'll get there, we'll get there. Now we're just gonna give it a squeeze. Hmm. See, I hope I don't have to do this again. It wasn't uh, lined up quite like I like it. I don't know how much juice is left in my 18350. That's why I'm going to use it. It uh, that cheap Chinese uh, battery, or it seems to me to be. Um, and if it sits overnight, like it just did while I was at work, it uh, seems to drain out a bit. I have noticed if you're doing this with a needle nose, you want to go to both sides. If you're squeezing it one way, then flip it 180 degrees and uh, squeeze it the other way. Taking a little bit to glow. We're going to stick the screwdriver back in here. If it'll go back in here. Sure it will. Just wiggle it up a little bit. Just checking the screws. Make sure they're tight. After you've heated them up a couple times, it seems like there's a little bit of give. Kind of a slower glow. Might be my battery though. Let's see here. See? Can't even see that it's so small. We'll take the other Chinese one out. Ah, uh, the old H100 that's falling apart. 30 minute video so far, huh? That's crazy. Still watching this? No, oh, for my buddy. Let's see. This one's freshly charged. Freshly charged it last night before work. There we go. That's a little better. Inside out. We're good. I do look a little bit off on this side for height. We can adjust that. Just like That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna burn myself. What was this at for? Six eight? Is that what it was? Check it. I don't remember. Six five, six eight. Down to six oh. 
No jumping. No shorts. No shorts, buddy. That's the good thing. Wicked. We got some cotton here. I ain't gonna need this much cotton. Tear that roll in half. Unfluffify it a little. Don't you know? I do like a roll the whole thing. This might be a little too much. Find out in a minute. I think it is. That's the great thing about cotton, man. Grip it down a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need an end I can put through. I still might have too much. Maybe not. I just work a little bit. Work some magic. See that magic? That's magic right there. I do this differently than him. I put my tails up. They're really, really long. I know. Pull them taut. But not tight. I want them orientated the right way. Just saves me a minute when I'm getting down and dirty in this thing. Alrighty. Want to go just a little higher than that? You can still see it sticking out. All right. And then, just go down in there and put it on the deck. Good. Put it on the deck. And it looks something like that. You see the coil in there nice and pretty. A little bit of cotton in there. Now, buddy, I forget what juice you had, but I did drain it out for you. I have no idea what that is. But you're getting the same thing over. Make sure this is taut down there. Need some more, it looks like. You're using this thick stuff, aren't you, buddy boy? Okay. Not the greatest idea to use 100% VG in a cape one. There we go. Yeah, she's flowing now. I'm going to leak right out the air hole now. I am. I know I am. But I guess. Let's check. Still 6.60. .60. Still 0 .60. Wow, she is juicing everywhere now. That's how I prime it up. And make sure... Juice is actually flowing down all the channels. Whatever. It was coming out of your air hole. Yeah. Juicy. Super juicy. That's what you get for using 100% VG. Wow, that really changed the lighting, didn't it? 
I had the darndest time getting you a little chimney apart right there. Dude, you ain't got to screw it all the way down, all right? You ain't. You just ain't. Set her up in here. I was going to fire it. I decided not to. I don't know why, but your tank section looks so much different than mine. I realize I have the clear tank on there right now. Mm. This is not a tasty juice anymore. It's okay. There's something wrong with that. All right, buddy boy. Let's stick your juice. Right back where it came from. Yeah, you can use a dropper on these. You just press it up against the hole. It's all good. And that's the last bit of your juice that came out of here. And there should be enough juice in there. Still the vape on it. Right? Well, let's try. So we did that in 37 minutes, huh? Let's put her on this bad boy. With the tip. BG juice. Not a good idea in the cave one. Hear it. Uses that buddy boy. You kind of got to keep uh, inhaling for a minute, um, for a second, whatever. Uh, after you've let go of the button, because it stays going. I don't know what juice that is. It's not that tasty though. Try the trick. Tricks of the trade. There you go. Change your juice, though. 
That is uh, horrid stuff right there. My cave pun? Your cave pun? Not too far off from each other. What is yours? 0.6? We'll see what mine's at. Same build. So mine goes the right way. Mine's 0.67. What's in the news? Robin, Robin, Robin. Yeah. So there you have it. And there it is. It was a much uh, longer video than I thought it was going to be. 41 minutes. But you had it short. And I'm thinking... I should put some juice in there for you. You want my cotton candy? You don't want that crap. I don't know what else I got. Let's try this. Make it just a little bit longer here. What is this? Nobody knows what it is. That's the joy. I'm going to bait your device today a little bit. It's the whole point, right? The whole point. You gotta try it out, check it out, see if it leaks. We'll just put two squirts in there. Maybe it'll thin out whatever the heck it is you got in there. What is it? the joy of not knowing. Vapor's Delight. That's what that is. Vapor's Delight. But what does that flavor taste like? Whatever you think it tastes like. That should be high enough off the deck to where it does not gurgle. But who knows. That's better already. It's good stuff. What is that white fuzzy thing I see? Is that that? Wow. Well, we'll get that out of there and the color will return. Highly enjoying that. The whole room's a cloud. There you are, buddy. We'll leave that on there. We'll probably lock it in a minute. There you go. A really long video on the K-Fun with a parallel coil with 28 gauge. It's just one unwrap of the spool. Clip it off, fold it in half, and you get six double wraps out of that. Twist the ends so you can trap the wires down, heat it and pinch it, heat it and pinch it. Good to go. Point six. Point six. You all have fun now, because I know I will. I'm going to shoot another short one, because i got to re-wick that thing. Yeah, let's rewake that thing.